Family, thanks for joining me. Listen, here's another quick dream that I've had. Sit back, buckle up, stand to take them on grab AC family, and listen, listen as I share. First, family, I won't hold you long. I just want to highlight my cousin's t shirt. I chose the quiet cousin. I believe it fits me to the T. All right, I believe 100% supportive, loving, noble, protective, and very helpful. And guess what? The serving size is just one. <laughs> I like these t shirts. These are the cousin's t shirts. Uh, that's a line that's with this small business that I am highlighting today. It's called Lartec Solutions, L-A-R-T-E-C-H Solutions, L-L-C. It's on Facebook and also on Instagram. And you know what I'll do? I'll link it down below and I'll let you know all about it, family. If you want to go ahead and visit, check out one of these Cousins t-shirts. It's very fun. It's about 15 to choose from. <laughs> And it describes, it can describe you. All right, I'm pretty sure you can pick one that describes you. All right, and so that's what I'm doing, family. I am highlighting other businesses and other people that are answering the call on their life, the call of God on their life, and also who are assisting in the community. And if you like to shout me out, you can do so down below. All right, thanks for letting me share. All right, and what I'm going to do now is switch over and tell you about this dream. So like I said, family, sit back, buckle up, and listen. See and today, listen as I share. And the dream. The dream, uh, it looks like uh, we are maybe 100 years ago. All right, um, it's another century. A century back, 100 years back. This looks like... Um, uh, old antique style, all right, is what I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm looking at royalty. I'm looking at uh, a royal uh, figure. This is a member of the royal family. And when, here's a disclaimer, when I say royal family, there is more than one royal family in this entire world. Uh, there are many royal families um, all throughout many different regions and countries. And the one that we see in the news is not the only one, all right? And that is a disclaimer and a note there for you, all right? And so I'm talking about, again, a royal family, a member of this royal family. He looks like he's running away from something. He's trying to escape in a hurry. Um, he's trying to quickly leave. He's fleeing. He's, he's getting away from there, all right? <laughs> and he runs into, he's, he's like swept into this um, dome-shaped carriage. Uh, it reminds me of Cinderella. If you remember that story of Cinderella, um, you know, at some point she swept into that carriage, the same one I'm talking about. It's a dome-shaped round um, carriage, like I said, uh, which was very beautiful and draped in gold, um, very elaborate, ornate uh, was the material. Um, like I said, very beautiful and plush. And he, he falls out of there and he falls and he not only falls, but he falls on the ground and he hurts himself woke up as in all of the dreams I say a prayer for that particular person if it is a person or or that character and also our dreams are symbolic so whatever that dream represented whatever the person whoever the person represented or the group of people and so what came to me family is um is us all right <laughs> and how we escape how we try to escape from our responsibilities. It looks like, like I said, that figure, the royal figure in the family, that uh, that family member, he was escaping really quickly. He didn't want to, whatever it is, he didn't want to face it. And he tried to run away from it. And, and that's how we do sometimes. We don't want to face uh, whatever responsibilities that are uh, there for us. We don't want to face whatever job, all right? We don't want to, um, we don't want to carry out our assignment. Uh, and I think about those of us who are called by God, all right? And when I say that, I mean those of us that have a purpose um, by God given to us, a planted uh, at birth, all right, for us to complete and carry out. And, and we want to run away from it. We realize there is a job for us to do, an assignment, but we don't want to do that. We want to do what we want to do, all right? This is our life. We want to do what we want to do. But how many of us know that that's going to catch up with you, <laughs> all right, until you do what is mandated by God for you to do? That's for those who are called, all right? And then I want to talk about also those of us who have responsibilities, all right? I can think of many, all right? Um, you know how they say the deadbeats, all right? They they don't want to face responsibility, and they run from that. They they turn the other way, and they they go on off and are transported somewhere else, and they never face, all right? They would never face what is actually happening and, um, you know, the hurdles that you, and challenges that you have there at home, all right? And so that I'm pretty sure you can relate to this and resonate uh, with this, all right? We all have responsibilities, things we have to do and complete. And like I said, for those who are called, all right, those who are running away from that, he's calling us now. He's calling you, all right? Your responsibilities, it's time for you to face them, all right? Turn around and look, square them, all right? Be in your square, all right? And look at them and face them, all right? Iron out those wrinkles, 
All right, whatever challenges and hurdles that you have to go through and face, come on, face it, face it, square in the eye, all right? Look at square in the eye, work it out, contribute, work it out, all right? And um, this is what we must do, all right? We can't run from uh, all those issues. And again, like if you've stayed with me, last week I talked about issues, all right? The deep-seated, I was being transparent about my deep-seated issues, uh, about hurt and pain and, um, you know, just... You can go back and, and look at it. I won't bring it up. But yeah, God is delivering us. He's delivering us from all of these issues. The responsibilities turn back, all right, and face them head on, carry them out. I'm talking to you, you leaders, leaders of the community, all right, uh, leaders in your workplace. Come on, stop cutting corners, all right? Carry out your assignment. Give it your full 100%. That's what you were elected to do. That's where, what you are paid to do. Um, I'm not singling out anyone. That's just what's coming to mind right now. All right, and so, yeah, turn to your responsibilities. Carry it out. Give it your all. You know, that's what we um, are set here to do. Whatever's placed within us, all right, from birth, Go ahead and carry that out. All right, that's your assignment. All right, we like I said, we have gifts and talented talents that are also instilled with us. Why not carry it out and do those things? We've got time now. We've got time. Now is the time to do that. Also, when I think about, I'm going to go back uh, biblically, and I'm going to speak in layman's terms. I think about um, Jonah and the whale. All right, and you can look this story up for yourself. Let me know what you think about it, and if you agree. So Jonah, Jonah was called. He was also called by God. He had an assignment to do. God gave him an assignment. Very simple. Go down to Nineveh and tell these people to turn from their ways. All right. And when we talk about turning, we mean, you know what I mean, morally. All right. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. Most of us do. <laughs> all right. And when you're doing wrong, you've got that inside of you to let you know. <clears throat> Most of us do. Not to carry that out, not to follow through with that, all right, because that is not the right thing to do. All right, and so he was ordered to go there to share with the people there, um, you know, what God was saying and to let them know to turn from their evil and wicked ways, the wrongdoings, all right? And he did not want to. He did not want to uh, do that for whatever reason. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. Like I said, like most of us do, right? <laughs> turn back. He's making us, like I said before, sit down, all right, and reevaluate evaluate ourselves and the purpose all right and when i think about our purpose i think of purpose-driven life uh someone gave me this book a few years ago the purpose-driven life and yeah so we've got to face those challenges we've got to face those hurdles we've got to face those responsibilities my leaders you know leaders of the community leaders like i said at the job lead the teachers we got to face it head on all right and whatever issues you have and i'm speaking about me not only you i'm speaking about me too whatever issues we've got to iron those out like I said, face it head on, get on your square, all right? Do your responsibility, all right? <laughs> your job to the fullest, 100%. Give it your all, give it your all, all right? Um, we're talking about ourselves now. We want to be, um, like I said, uh, known to do what God has called us to do. And um, we don't want to slack. Don't be a slacker, all right? Turn back, all right? Don't be like that royal figure running away. He had everything in the world and worked through those challenges. Like I said, Jonah and the whale, he ran away, all right? He had a responsibility, but he ran down to the ship. Hey, I'm gonna take off, all right, and do what I wanna do. I'm gonna I'm sail, I'm gonna sail. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here and sail with these people. And I'm just gonna do what I wanted to do. And he was not able to do so because guess what happened? A great storm came, a great horrific storm came. And the people on the ship, those others, all right, they had no idea um, what was happening, but they knew something was wrong, all right? And they were like, who? Who's bringing this upon us? Who is the person that came here and is bringing this wickedness upon us, all right? And they did what um, is called casting lots, all right? Something like lottery uh, <laughs> or a game that we played when we were younger. You know, you get your sticks uh, all in the can and you pull out either the shortest or the tallest stick. And whoever has that one is it, all right? That's what happened there. And so he was the one that got the short end of the stick. That's where we get it from. <laughs> he got the short end of the stick. And so that's what they did. They took him and threw him off, threw him off the boat, cast him out uh, of the boat because they knew it was somebody there that was bringing this upon us. And it must have been him. It must have been him. And definitely it was. All right. And so he was cast out there into the sea and he was swallowed by the fish, the big fish. All right. And so <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, family. This figure, he fell. All right. We don't want to fall. We don't want to fall and we don't want to stay there. If we do, we want to get back up. 
and uh, follow through with, uh, with what God has called us to do. Follow through with whatever assignment that is placed in front of us, whatever a leader, you're the manager, all right, you're the supervisor, go ahead and follow through with your assignments, whatever you're asked to do and getting paid to do. I'm T.Y. Walker of T.Y. Walker TV. That's on Facebook and also on YouTube. Hey, shout me out down below. All right. Press like and also go over there. La Check Solutions and get one of these cousin shirts. All right. Pick which one describes you. It's fun. All right. Like I said, go over to YouTube. It's free over there. T.Y. Walker TV. You press subscribe and also the bell for notifications of when I come on next. And again, like I said, family, until the next time, peace out, family. And listen, family, listen as I share. <laughs>